Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Children's Sabbath School. Our lesson today is called Special Friends. The memory verse is taken from Proverbs 17, verse 17. It says, a friend loves at all times. And the message for our story is, friends always care for each other. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving us. Thank you for giving us friends. Help us to care for our friends. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, boys and girls, let's sing Jesus Wants Me for a Sunbeam. Friends help each other and friends have good times together. And it's nice to have friends who help us. Those are real friends. Today, our lesson is about some special friends. We're going to listen to special friends. And remember boys and girls, pay special attention so that you can answer the questions after the story. Do you have a special friend? Did you know Jesus had special friends too? Nicodemus opened the door just a tiny bit. He looked to see if anyone was walking on the street. But there was no one there. The coast was clear. He closed the door gently and walked to the city gate. While Nicodemus walked, he thought about the new teacher. He had listened to him teach and Nicodemus had studied his Bible scrolls and he was sure that this new teacher was someone sent by God. Nicodemus thought this new teacher was the promised Savior, the Messiah they had been waiting for, but he wanted to make sure. Nicodemus had important friends, and this new teacher was not popular. Nicodemus's friends didn't like the new teacher. So Nicodemus had decided that he was going to see him at night. And that's what he did. He walked in the darkness to meet Jesus. I know that you're a teacher from God, Nicodemus said to Jesus. No one could do miracles like you unless he came from God. Jesus spoke kindly to Nicodemus. God loves everybody, he told Nicodemus. God loves people so much that he has sent someone very special, his own son, to help people on this earth. Now Nicodemus was sure Jesus was very special. And as he thought and thought and he read his Bible scrolls and thought some more, Nicodemus was convinced that Jesus was the Messiah, the Savior God had promised to send. But Nicodemus had a problem. His friends did not like Jesus. They did not want Jesus to teach and to heal people. So they tried to stop him. But when Nicodemus' important friends tried to hurt Jesus or to make things hard for him, Nicodemus talked them out of it. You can't do that, he told them. That's not right. That's not what our laws say. When Jesus died, Nicodemus was there to help. He did not care if other people saw him. Nicodemus had once been a secret friend, but now 
everybody could see he was a friend of Jesus. Nicodemus was also very rich. He spent all of his money helping other people know about Jesus. He wanted others to be Jesus' special friends too. Would you like to be Jesus' special friend today? Just as Nicodemus was? What an awesome story! Nicodemus visits Jesus because he wants to know more about him and why he is doing the things he does. Jesus answers Nicodemus's questions and shows him that God loves him. Nicodemus wants to think about all he has heard, so he goes home and continues to study. Later, he becomes one of Jesus' loyal friends and tells others about his love. It's time for our questions. Our first question is, who did Nicodemus believe Jesus was? Nicodemus believed Jesus was the Messiah, the Savior God had promised to send. Good job, boys and girls. Our second question is, what did Nicodemus do for Jesus? The correct answer is, he spent his money helping other people know about Jesus. He wanted others to be Jesus' special friends too. When Nicodemus became one of Jesus' friends, he told others that Jesus loves them. Jesus' friends tell others about him so they can join the family of God. It's time for prayer. Let us say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining us today, boys and girls. Jesus loves us so much. He wants us to be his special friends. Remember, friends always care for each other. Happy Sabbath and God bless you.